So in this lesson, we are going to review intersections and unions of intervals. If you're following, is on page 166 of our textbooks. So let's do a quick review. If I say to you, a What does this symbol mean? This symbol means intersection. So what we're asking you to do is list all the members of set A that are also in set B. So this is A intersect B. Everything that's in A that are also in B would be the solution set. This symbol means union. A union B means list all the items that are in A and also all the items that are in B. So one, four, intersect to eight. What does this mean? This is saying that if you have the interval x is greater than one, less than four, where does it intersect? x is greater than or equal to two, less than or equal to eight. One way you could do this is actually to construct the number line. So on the number line, we're going to start at one, and we're going to go up to four. Because it's just less than 4 greater than 1, we're going to use this symbol at 1, this symbol at 4, and our solution set would be all the values between 1 and 4. The other set is greater than or equal to 2, less than or equal to 8. So I'm going to start at 2, and I'm going to use the symbol which means that 2 is included and we're going to go all the way up to 8. The solution set for that section is between 2 and 8. So the intersection is where do these two graphs overlap or intersect? Right here between here and here is where they overlap. And notice the symbol that is at the beginning it's 2, so we're going to use starting at 2, and then we're going to end right here at 4. So this means that x such that x is greater than or equal to 2, but less than 4. So I can write the answer in interval notation using this format, or I can write it using set builder notation and the answer would be x such that x is greater than or equal to 2 less than 4. Notice that the 2 has a square bracket, so it's included, whereas the 4 does not. So the 4 is not included in the solution set. Here's another example. If I give you 1 for union, and it actually it doesn't have a hook on it, it's union, 2, 8, again, Let's draw the graph. So we have starting at 1 all the way up to 4. Those 1 and 4 are not included. So my solution set is between 1 and 4. And then 2 and 8. So I'm going to go 2 up to 8. I'm going to use square brackets. Square brackets. My solution set for this is between 2 and 8. Remember, union is all the items that are in each set. So it means that for this solution, I'm going to start at 1, and I'm going to go all the way up to 8, which includes all the numbers or all the answers. So starting at 1, but 1 has a parenthesis, and all the way up to 8, and 8 has a square bracket. So that would be the answer written in interval notation. If I'm writing it using set builder notation, it's going to be x such that x is greater than 1, but less than or equal to 8. Again, notice that because this is parentheses, I only have greater than 1. So the square bracket tells you that the 8 is included, so it's less than or equal to 8. And this is for union. Here's a third example. For the first 
interval 1 to 3. Let's put that on a number line. So we're going to start at 1 and we go up to 3. Because it's square bracket, it means that the 1 and the 3 are included. So it's greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 3. And the values are going to be right between 1 and 3. For the second set, I'm starting at 2. So I'm going to start here at 2. And I'm going to use a parenthesis, which means the answer is not included. And we're going to go all the way up to 6. And the solution set for that is going to be this blue shaded region between 2 and 6. So where do these two graphs intersect or overlap? Right between these two points. So my intersection is between 2 and 3. Greater than 2, but less than or equal to 3. So I can write that as 2, 3, that. Or using set builder notation, it's going to be x such that x is greater than 2, but less than or equal to 3. Here's a final example. Using those same numbers, let's do union this time. So if we have 1, 3, union, 2, oops, should be comma, 2, 6. Again, let's graph this. So remember, union is all the numbers included in both sets. So I'm going to start at 1. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Let's so start at 1. 3, square brackets, square brackets, and my answer lies between 1 and 3. My second interval is starting at 2, parentheses, up to 6, parentheses. The shaded region for this is between 2 and 6. So what is the union? What are all the items listed in both sets? We're starting at 1. Are we going all the way up to 6? What symbol do I use at 1? I'm going to use a square bracket at 1. What symbol do I use at 6? I'm going to use a parenthesis at 6. So this answer is x such that x is greater than or equal to 1, but x is simply less than 6. Hope that helps.